Hey everyone, we did another stop on our way down here in South Jersey. This time we were in Wildwood. Guess where we are? And this one's a little interesting that we're here on the 4th of July and also, you know, I've talked about heights and things like that. Well, this is the United States Naval Air Station here in Wildwood, New Jersey. And there are so many different planes and things that we are going to be showing you and helicopters and all kinds of things today here. And let's go on in. You can see all of the different airplanes that they have available for you to be able to touch or go on and get more information about as you travel around this hangar. You get to see all the different parts and pieces. They have a hangar that you can see. Look at all these things that you can come and explore. And I'm actually standing up in this area. Just look at this plane. Look at those wings. They fold up so that they can make more space. Whoop, car was hidden behind here. We've come a long way, haven't we? U.S. Coast Guard. I guess we are in the Coast Guard section of this museum, of which we can go up and check out this ship. And also, we have some other things. Look at that. Helicopter is huge. Let's go up and see what it would look like inside. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. How tight of a space to be able to do all of these things that they need to do. Wow, perspective, right? makes you appreciate even more what our men and women do to help keep our country safe. Hey everybody, come on in. This is the Coast Guard uh, search and rescue exhibit that they allow you to sit and be part of you can touch and feel the actual size and experience pushing and pulling and all of these levers which i just sat here looking at all of these wondering how how do they remember what every single light and button and lever does and how to fix it all the while this is part of the search and rescue team that would go out and help patrol along the coastlines to help save and protect, right? So can you imagine this? Wow, this is a great place for you to come and really get a feel for what it is that they have put their lives on the line for us and what their conditions would be. So boy, that's some dedication. And I have people in my family who have served and uh, I just actually reached out and said, thank you for serving because this gets a little bit more real when you actually get to see it. Wow. Let's 
So it looks like they're repairing this plane, restoring it maybe. Oh. There is so much for you to see and touch and feel here that it's amazing to me. I just can't seem to understand the gravity of how narrow and yet how big this is. Look at those blades. They're huge. And unless I was up there, I don't know if you can really understand how big and how wide they are. And at the same time, that those lift up this whole machine. Amazing. Wow, this is amazing. Look at that. Helicopter. There's, there's even an exhibit room for you to come in and see some of the things that they have. And they recently just found this signed piece of concrete when they were demolishing an area of the enlisted men's mess hall. Pretty cool. Now this is one of my favorite parts. So they're showing you different things from this time period of different um, antiques that have been collected and, and given to the museum for them to be able to show and it just is so nostalgic. <laughs> I just love it. And it's so interesting to see how far we've come. Again, like if you saw my other video the other day from historic Cold Spring Village, just to know where we came from and how things have improved over time. Here's a washer. Hoo -hoo. Yeah, and you'd put it through the ringer over there and squeeze out all that water. And look at that. 3D way of looking at your pictures. Look at that tub. Wow, it's beautiful. Now, there's been a big movement for those type of tubs. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I hear a plane taking off. This is also an active local county, I guess, airport. Look at that waffle maker. We've come further, but there's our roots in it. And here, the significance of this flag would be hung either in a window or on the door, I believe, um, to show those in the community that you had someone in your family that was a serviceman or woman. And um, I think it would they would put a gold one over it if that person had passed. Whoa. Vacuum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and how you'd get your milk. You'd put them out on the back step and the milkman would come and fill them up and you'd have nice cold milk in the morning. Well, that is true. And I want you to like and subscribe and keep coming back so we can keep going on these fun learning adventures because you just never know where I'm going to show up and what's, what's next. See you later. Have a great week.